Armstrong will go that. Goes short. So the Waratahs inside their own 22 in Golden Point in Lapoka. Told to use it so Gordon goes high, pretty long. Or Ceci. The chase was good for Peach, and they'll try and hold him up. The ball is there, the ball is there. It's going to come back for. Oh, hang on. No. 21, 21, come here. I'm controlling it. The ball is out to the side. The ball is out to the side of that player, and you've hit him in the head three times. Wow. Yellow card. Bit of a brain explosion from Matawalu, one of the most experienced players. Number nine, hitting a player in the head three times. Well, he thought he was entitled to get rid of the player, but the referee has pinged him for it. So he won't be back. So it's 15 on 14 again. Oh, exactly what you don't need in golden points. Oh, just a couple of slaps on the head. And the third one. It was there for the Drewer. Wasn't needed. And he was put his team under a lot of pressure. And the Waratahs. Oh, this one. Who wants it? Lost forward by the Waratahs. Everyone is desperate out there. Yep, we'll go here. Scrum, 23 metres out from the draw line. Oh, I hope Isaiah Ravula knows how to feed the scrum. They've lost their half back. A simple skill, but in times like this, making sure it's fed straight. Camu Valentini is a 12, but usually a fly half as well, so he'll move in one. Use the ball. It's going to come back for Armstrong Mobola. Valentini is trying Tackle! They wrap up the go-to man, Josefo Masi. Momo in 23. Matui, Salia. No! Well, it's penalty. still behind the feet. I know that was a penalty, but it's something that the drawer have to be conscious of, that there's no nine. That closest man in needs to shift that ball or dedicate one of the backs to get in there, or the seven. Particularly at this break now, where the Tars are really strong there and they love to go for the ball. They've got to be alive there. I see it. Armstrong, Rubula. Didn't pick up too many metres, but it's into touch. Up towards halfway. Golden here, point and Lautoka. Fans have got to go through all this again. A little later as well because the New South Wales Waratahs women will be playing the Fiji and Rural women in Super Rugby women. Double header. Oh, and this is a long one. And it sits up for nobody. There's a knock on. And now they wait for the whistle. But they waited too long. And the Waratahs are on the charge inside the Druid territory. Gordon gives it down to Swinton. Swinton is five metres out. Looking to spoil the party in Latoka, the New South Wales Waratahs. What a golden opportunity now. Tackle now. Pierce Swinton still taking on the line. Gordon, the captain, has been terrific out there. Phase after phase that got them back to 36 all. And now, if they go to the left, here's a drop goal. It's not successful. And so now the Drua have it inside their Release, own 22. Release! 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 
There's no scrum half. Thorke. Armstrong the buller. Oh, yeah. Happy to put it into it touch. And the Waratahs get another opportunity to set it up. I don't know how the players are feeling out there, but my heart is racing up here. It is all happening. Tate Edmonds set in the pocket. Just bobbled the ball. Couldn't quite strike it well to get it over. Are we making a sub or is he playing on? Sub or play on? Hugh yep. Sinclair taking okay, his time, go. getting to this line out. Okay, let's go. Right, your man's up now, we're going in, let's go. This where it comes a battle of, of your mindset. How hard you want to work, pick yourself back up. You see Jake Gordon barking his orders at, it, at the forwards because they look like they're probably going to go to a drive in more. Zap that energy out from the draw again and hopefully look for a penalty. Knocked back, it's loose on the ground and it's been knocked on first of all. No, it's not straight. They'll have a scrum. And after all that, the hookers, <laughs> the pressure just building and the simple things just not going to plan. This is, the, this is the time in the game where the senior players, the leaders, the most experienced guys have to step up. Because there's a lot of young guys here, there's a lot, this first time playing these golden points sort of game. So this is where they have to lead them from both sides. Fans up on their feet. Jake, your loose head steps to his left and angles in. Just here. So it goes against the loose head for the loose Waratahs. Head steps to his left, angle across. Tully Gamble receiving some treatment for a cramp. Armstrong, roll up. Into touch. Line out. The draw right. will throw. Out, and goes you can see the angle of the loose head Blue. just stepping around the corner. Three, They've gone back to their three men. The droid, in, you just boy. watch. Back in. Yeah, come in. Ravula, you see Jake Gordon. So the opportunity to go over to the back again might be on. Good two handed take and to the roar of the crowd. the ball is the call they don't have to panic goes for the drop goal it's over Camu Valentini Camu Valentini the Iceman from a year or so ago has done it again he had an advantage and he has done it wow we he's done it off the tee a couple of times for the draw wasn't even in the best position to take that drop goal they had the advantage and he strikes it well and does it again for the drawer. 36 all at full time. Then the realization hit home, it's golden point. The Waratahs had their opportunity. They couldn't nail it. And then at the other end, they had advantage here. Nothing was happening. And then Kemu Valatini sends it down the middle and it's 39 36 and the Drua had beaten the Waratahs for the very first time the very first time in D Clark and what a way to do it here in Fiji in front of their home fans again